okay dear students today we will discuss about the pixel value difference technique which is uh, a technique by which it can embed some information within the image audio video by the pixel value difference technique so here the today this is a data embedding uh, by pixel value difference technique it has been proposed by the hue and ksi in 2003 the the basic technique is that i am explaining using some numerical example so consider these are the two pixel xi xi plus 1 and the the value of xi is 60 and xi i plus 1 equals to 77 Now, first get the difference between this x i and x i plus one. The difference equals to sixty minus seventy, the mod value, and it is seventeen. Now you take one uh, table where this will be map on this pixel difference table. Say here it will belong to the eight to twenty four. Now you get this uh, the length of this subband. This is Uh, um minus lm that is upper limit minus lower limit plus one so this is the width of this sub range and here it will be twenty three minus eight and then plus one so it becomes sixteen now we take a temporary variable t that is equal to log two of wm here wm equals to sixteen so it becomes four bits so now Within these two difference of these two pixel, will embed four bit. Now consider the secret message m equals to one one zero one one zero 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 like this. Now we take the four bits from the beginning, so it will be one zero one one zero one. So this is the four bit from the secret message. Why we take the four bit? Because we have measured that. T equals to four, so you can embed maximum four bits within this difference. So we take the four bits, one one zero one. Now to convert this binary number to the decimal value, it is become eight four twelve plus one thirteen. Now you calculate the new variable D dash. D dash equals to L B plus B. What is L B? L B is the lower bound of this sub range, where lower bound is equals to eight. And um, v equals to thirteen, so eight plus thirteen that is twenty one. Get the d dash equals to twenty one. Then m the message, uh, sorry, uh, m is another variable that is equals to the difference between d dash and the d. That d dash equals to twenty one and v equals to seventeen. So get the difference d m equals to d dash minus d. That is twenty one minus seventeen. That is equal to four. Now <coughs> you. We consider one uh, some condition that is if x i is greater than x i plus one, what is the value of x i? x i is sixty. x i plus one seventy seven. Is this condition fulfilled? That is x i greater than equals to x i plus one. No. And d is greater than d. Yes, d is greater than d, but x i not greater than x i plus one. So this condition is not satisfied. So we do not go into this uh, assignment values. That is, we we cannot update using this uh, x i plus ceiling of m by two, x i plus one by x i minus four of m by two. So these are the update value of x i and x i plus one, so which is become the embedding when a stable pixel. But this uh, is not fulfilled, so we don't go. For this condition, so we skip this one. So come to the next. If x i is greater than x i plus one, again it is false. So go to the next condition. X i is less than x i plus one. Yes, x i is less than x i plus one. This condition is true. But x i dash is less than x d. Uh, sorry, d dash is less than d. No, this is false. So if this is false, then we skip this condition again and go on to this one. X i is less than x i plus one. Yes. And d dash is greater than d. Yes, these two conditions are satisfied. So we then update the x i at x i plus one, by which x i equals to x i minus 
floor of m by 2 what is the value of m m equals to 4 now this is floor of m by 2 so m by 2 is 2 and floor of m by 2 means this is also again 2 so xi equals to xi minus 2 what is the value of xi 60 now the new value will be 58 and here this is the ceiling of m by 2 that is the value was 77 so now you add the ceiling will 2 so it will be 79 so new pixel value will be 58 and 79 so this is our stego pixel now this stego pixel contain this message 1101 that is 13 is with the is within this two pixel the original pixel was 60 and 77 now the updated pixel was 50 and 79 then uh, we use uh, next pair and use this formula then we take some pits and embed data and after that finishing from left to right scanning of all the pixel pairs then we become the we get the stego pixel we get the stego pixel from the original image from the original image we get the stego image and uh, the stego image is which contains some information so this is nothing but the pixel value difference now so now we send this stego image to the uh, receiver from through using some channel now after getting this stego image the receiver try to extract the message now come to the data extraction so suppose this is our stego image now you get the two pixel here 58 and 79 these are the stego pixel now we have to find out the pixel values uh, uh, sorry so we have to find out the values that is uh, embedding value secret value within these two pixels how possible first to get the difference between these two it is 21 now you get the their mod value that is 21 now we calculate the sub band of this table it belongs to 8 to 24 so now we calculate the range that is 16 now uh, calculate the value of t it becomes 4 so obviously we can understand that four bit data are embedded within uh, these two pixels. Now how to get the value? Now first we get, uh, get the value v equals to d dash minus lb. What is the value of d dash? d dash equals to 21. lb lower bound equals to 8. So it will be 21 minus 8 that is 13. So the value which is embedded within two pixels are the 21 minus 8 that is 13 and we convert these 4 bits uh, in a binary number then it will become 1101 so this was our actual secret data so this is the data embedding and if we go for the next two pixel and use this technique and again you get the values uh, some other values you can extract so in this way we start from problem corner and scan the data up to uh, bottom right corner and get the two pixels and extract the data and then we put the data one after another then we get the our secret data so there is a basic technique of the uh, pixel value difference okay now these are some comparisons so many people are working on the uh, they, they have developed java hui at the side and then uh, jing and wang wang et al ju et al jing et al and they are uh, result corresponding result uh, we can analyze and we have seen that the 1.59 bit, 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 bit per pixel and these are the peak signal to noise ratio and people have studied and then observed and these are the comparison of so many pixel value difference technique now come to the another technique which is called the difference expansion de so this is this has been developed by uh, tian in 2003 and uh, this is called a difference expansion. Now consider these are the original image and their pixel value is two pixel xi and xi plus one. So the this is the two pixel of adjacent two pixel. Now get the difference d equals to on 20 minus 1 to 7. Now average of this v equals to 4 of so there what is the average the on 20 plus 1 to 2 2 that is 123 these are the average of these two pixels now if you consider uh, one bit only because difference expansion 
can embed on bit, not more than one bit. So we consider on bit from the second message. Then what is the D? D was seven. Now we ex a, a difference expansion. So we expand the difference. What is the difference? Difference is here. Difference is seven. Now we expand the difference. So you uh, expand means you multiply the D into two. So it becomes D dash. D dash equals to D into two. And W is the one bit from this secret message. So D into two plus one. So here W is a one bit information. Now we get the D dash equals to seven into two plus one. That is 15. Seven into two plus one. That is equals to 15. Now we have uh, applied some condition. That is if xi is greater than xi plus one. See what is the value of xi? It will be 120 and xi plus 127. That is true. No, this is false. So we skip this one. Now come to this one. Xi is less than xi plus one. Yes, xi is less than xi plus one. Now we update the xi as a x test. Uh, y xi plus one is x the x dash i plus one. And it become V, that is the average value of 123 minus floor of D dash by 2. What will be the floor of D dash by 2? D dash equals to 15. Then 2, 15 by 2, that is 7.5. That floor, uh, so floor is the 8 and ceiling is 7. So we add the difference, we just uh, subtract uh, uh, 8 from this V. So what is the V is 127? So 127 minus 15 by 2. So that is, that is equals to 127 minus 8, so 116. And uh, here 123 plus ceiling, that is 8, so it will be 127. So 128 plus 8, 123 plus 8, so 131. So we add 8 here and subtract 7 here, then it becomes this two pixels. So the origin pixel was xi plus xi plus 1. 120 on 27 and then the final pixel is 116 and 131 which contain only one bit so this is difference expansion the embedding of the difference expansion now uh, in this way we traverse from left to right and get the two pixels and uh, use this technique then one bit we can easily embed within the uh, pixel values of two pixel so this technique is called the Different six percent techniques to temporary. Now we come to the uh, and it becomes a stable image, okay. And then we try to extract the data from the uh, stego image using different six percent. So, what do you see? Consider these are the stego image, and these two pixels are 116 and 131. Uh, then we get the difference of this that is 15, and then we get the uh, calculate the average value of these two 116 and 131 so average is 1.3 now we extract one bit from the lsb of the d d dash that is one here d dash is 15 so obviously we just uh, convert this 15 into binary number then what will be in the lsb you can extract the data that will be actually our original data and now we calculate D, that is equal to D dash by 2. In D dash, what is D dash? Uh, 15. 15 divided by 2. So this is 7. And then we apply this condition. Why we use this one? Because we try to not only to extract the data, but also we try to uh, get back our original pixel value. So original, this is the embedded, this is the stego pixel value, but we try to reversible this is reversible means we try to get back our original pixel value so that's why we apply this one that is x i dash is greater than x i plus one it is then we apply x i equals to v plus ceiling of d by two and x i plus one equals to d minus four of d by two here d equals to d this is d that is 7.5 now ceiling and floor if we apply the reverse then we get it. So what is this condition is fulfilled because xi is greater than xi plus one? No, this is not. So we skip this one and go to the next one and this is true. So we apply this one and we get back the original pixel 120 and 127. 
So in the difference expansion technique, what will happen? We see that our original pixel can be easily read back and this is the reversible technique and as well as the data has been extracted from the both of the pixel value. So this is the difference expansion of the TR. <coughs> so from the stego image, uh, we can easily extract our original image, huh? but it was not possible on the pixel value difference. Now another one, the third one is called the exploiting, exploiting modification direction by EMD. It has been proposed by Zhang and Wang in method 2006. So consider this cover image that is, uh, this is the cover image of C and the pixel value, this is the cover image of C and uh, consider this one, divide the cover image into several blocks of n pixels that is x1, x2, xn where n greater than equals to greater than equals to 2. If let n equals to 2 uh, and then select the pixel pair from this particular image, now consider it is 1, 1, 3 and 1, 20. Now you can just collect the secret message which you want to embed within the image. Consider the secret message. Then you divide the secret message into k bits. Say it may be another k, k is unvariable. Now consider k. What will be the k? The k will be the floor of log 2 of n, 2 n plus 1. Say here 2, n equals 2, have considered 2. Ah, so it will be 2 into 2 plus 1, that is 4 plus 1, 5. So floor of log of 5, that equals 2. So k is the 2. So we divide this bit pattern into out of 2 pixels for 2 bits each. So this is 2 bits, 2 bits, 2 bits. So in this way, we divide it into 2 bits. Now we first take 2 bits and select 2 bits from the M and convert into the 2n plus 1 array notional notational system from D. What is this 2 notational system? Here this is the 2 bits. So we use the 1 0 is a binary number is converted into D that is 2 of 5. Where, what is 5? That is 2 to the power 2 into 2 plus 1. So 5 array. So 5 array notional system. So 2 it becomes 2 of 5. So this is called 5 array notional system. Now D equals to 2 base 5. Now these are the function A for x1, x2, xn, where xi, x1 into 1 plus x2 into 2 and in this way mod of 2n plus 1. So this is the function of this. What is this function? This function. So we take f of 113 and 120 in like this as a function, f of x1 and x2. So this is x1 and this is x2. For so x1 into 1 and x2 into 2. So this the only the two pixels are there. So uh, this is the general form. So only x1 and x2 is including here and get the value. So it will be of the mod 5 that is in n also had 2. So it will be mod 5. So the function of this equals to 3. Now our this our actual value was 2 which we would like to embed that is 2. But here the function value is 3. Now we take some condition. If d is f, here d is 2 and f is 3. So if d is f, then this condition will be satisfied. So if not, if d is not equal to f, we come to the next. Calculate s as a s equals to d minus f mod of 2n plus 1. What is d? Here d equals to 2. What is f? f equals to 3. So d is not equal to f. Yes, d is not equal to f. If d equals to f, then go this way. Otherwise, you calculate s. What is s? s equals to d minus f. Here d equals to f minus 3, the 2 minus 3 that is minus 1, mod of 5. So it will be mod of minus of 5. And if s is less than n, what is s? If you calculate this s1, s, it will be minus 1 mod of 5, so minus 1. So s is the negative value, n is the positive value. If s is negative and n is positive, less than n, then pixel value of s5, uh, xs is increased by 1. The pixel value of SS. What is the SS? X of S. X of S means X S S means what? This one. That is this one. One one three will be increased by one. Uh, else the pixel value of two n 
plus 1 minus s that is n is 2 here s is again minus 1 here so 2 minus 1 so in this way for the next pixel basically that will be decreased by 1 so this is a general form so that's why we are writing this way so this is the next pixel will be decreased by 1 so hence here basically 2 is not equals to 3 so calculate s is equals to 2 minus 1 mod of 5 that is equals to 4 and here 4 greater than equals to greater than equals to 2 so the pixel value of x of 2 into 2 plus 1 minus 4 that is x1 that is 113 will be decreased by 1 this will be decreased by 1 so this will be 112 first pixel and x2 will be as it is same so x2 will be 120 and x1 will be 113 so this is the data embedding technique so using the data embedding technique that cover image will become into the stego image and some data 1010 data has been embedded within these two pixels using this technique is called the that is exploiting modification direction proposed by Zhang and Wang so now the data extraction technique here so this is a stego image and a equals to h into w and using the from the stego image same way we calculate the uh, we consider n equals to 2 and divide the stego image into several blocks of two pixel now first we select the pixel pair this is 112 and 120 so these are the stego pixel block now get their function they are the general form now from using 112 and 121 we get the this function f equals 2 so we just take d equals to 2 of 5 so these are the data then you convert the d into the 2 bits binary form and get the 10 so this is the extraction of data and embedding technique uh, we cannot get the original data original um, cover image but this is the secret image so these are the three techniques we have discussed today pvd d and emd so these are some comparison results of the emd based technique that is emd uh, some values some techniques Zhang and wang and some q and chang queen chain so many people should develop this one and they can embed some data data hiding method with their payload 1 bpp 1.5 1.16 1.56 so these are the payload uh, we can embed huge amount of data within the images so these three techniques we have 